on today's uh, result, do you think uh, that uh, it is now the effects of a very long tournament is starting to take toll on you? No, I'm, I'm pretty good. Um, I just felt we were about, about 20, 30 runs short and after the foundation we'd laid. Um, credit must go to Afghan bowlers, I thought they bowled really well. And you know, we were at the back of the innings, we were just struggling to, to build some momentum. Uh, starting the innings, I felt we, we started well with the new ball, we got two early wickets. But uh, credit must go to their number three batter, who got 50-odd or 60-odd. I thought he controlled the innings quite nicely and you know, he battered his team to victory. And uh, now looking at, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't face as much spinners, the spinners that, that turned him that much. Was that, was that something that, was, that affected uh, the total that you got to? No, I wouldn't say that. I mean, you know, Rashid Khan and Mujib, they're pretty top world class spinners, you know, they're, they're mystery, you know, they've caused problems around the world. Uh, it's just a matter of us trying to come up with a, a great st strategy not only to bat them out but to score against them you know I, um, I felt we did a really reasonably job reason good job up front with them you know but in the back end where we had to push on a bit more I guess we couldn't get a hold of them and then they went, okay. uh, Jason, you've played here I think two three times I was the weakest starting to play now it's, it's varied man we've had some some good wickets where um, the bounce was very very consistent and carry was consistent as well but then we've had some some slow pitches which, where the ball held in the pitch a lot and, and um, stopped a bit. So it was variable um, throughout the entire tournament so far. Um, I find the pitches that are closer to the right side of the, um, the field if you're in the pavilion, those pitches seem to be a lot better than the ones going further, further, further left. So again, it's, 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 it's cricket, you know, when you have tournaments um, in one particular place and one particular venue is used quite often. You know, these are things you should expect. You personally, uh, 100 wickets today for West Indies. You've also got 1,000 runs and you've got like double. Um, personal milestone, uh, anything significant for you? Or? It feels good knowing. Um, at the end of the day, you know, our main focus here is to win this tournament. Um, we we fell, fell short today. Now, having said that, you know, I feel pretty good with my personal form. Um, I'm trying to lead from the front and I've been getting some runs and, and also getting some wickets. So. Unfortunately, we didn't get across the line today, but um, I guess it's a bittersweet, bittersweet feeling knowing that I've got 100 wickets and, and 1,000 runs. Kimo Ball was excellent. Yeah, I was really pleased with Kimo. You know, um, he flew in two days ago. Um, he had a practice session yesterday, and he was straight in it today. We've obviously got some injury concerns with our camp, and he was asked to, to do a job today, and I thought he performed credibly. Um, you know, he was one of those guys who been doing really well in this domestic circuit back at home. Um, he's very skillful. Um, he showed that he has some, some potential with the bat as well. And you know he took a really good catch today for us. So um, I expect really good things from him going through in the future. And I just want to wish him all, all the best. Yeah, two more games, how do you think those two? Um, we're going to take the first game first against um, Zimbabwe. Uh, it's obviously a, a must-win game for us. Um, you know, we've got to put our foot down now and, and try to qualify uh, for the finals and once we do that you know we obviously qualify for the 2019 World Cup but it's important we take it step by step game by game and I think our next encounter is against Zimbabwe we've got to deal with them first. Um, you know it happens I guess it's cricket you know we we had a few scores over 300 we had a pretty good chase as well and uh, I guess it's one of our weaker batter performances for, for the entire tournament so far. Uh, I, I wouldn't start a panic. I think it's a situation for us, you know, just to, to regroup. We've got a few days off and, you know, I expect really good things uh, against Zimbabwe. Um, one thing about this team that, that I've seen is we were full of confidence, you know. A lot of guys are stepping up at different stages of the tournament and it's good to see that not one or two individuals have really carried the team on their back. You know, it's been a, it's a wholehearted team effort and, you know, it's really good to see in a tournament like this. Well, the way this tournament has gone, you know, anything can happen, to be honest. You know, the points are relatively close, but we've seen some miraculous things happen in, in these tournaments. And when pressure hits certain teams, you know, they crumble. So, you know, we've just got to control what we can control. And that's our game against Zimbabwe and then our game against um, Scotland.